Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going with Q3 of the Bi-Weekly Contest 73, or Ancestors of a Node in a Directed Asynchronous Graph. Um, so this one, uh, I just re was really sloppy. I was trying to do some sort of almost like topological sort, but I think the way that I was doing it, and you could very easily construct a, an exponential path, right? Um, the, the, the thing that you shouldn't do is just like, okay, like the exponential graph, maybe, I don't know if there's a... Um, is there a visualization thing here? I don't think so. Okay. So the, the exponential is if zero goes to one, two, one, two goes to three, four, three, four goes to eight, like, and therefore you have like uh, exponential type things if you don't, are not careful. Um, the way that I end up doing, and I actually, to be honest, got, uh, how did I get a wrong answer? Oh, I did the first wrong answer because I wasn't paying attention. I rushed a little bit because I am in Medellin, in Colombia, and I think I'm, you know, I, I wasn't sure how much, how long I have for internet to, to do this, to be frank. So I was just rushing a little bit. Um, so I didn't miss the part where you have to sort it in ascending order. So that was a stupid wrong answer. Yeah. Take your time and under. And then the second one was that it just time limit exceeded. Uh, once it time limit exceeded, I did redo it by, you know, looking at it backwards. So a DAG or directed asynchronous graph, the inverse of that graph, or inverse, the reverse of that graph is also a DAG. So from that, you can construct a dynamic programming or memorization problem, uh, almost similar to a topological sort, but that's basically the idea that I do. Um, basically for each node to get it, uh, so we, we construct the reverse graph, like we said, by looking at the edges and the reverse of them. Um, and here, we just go to its parents, right? So the ancestor of a node it's just the parents and the parents' parents and so forth, right? So you look at this graph and you look at the stuff that points in, you just go all the parents. I guess maybe it's multiple parents if you put it that way. But yeah, well, that's basically the idea. Um, I kind of did it a little bit shorthand with the set, um, with the current node, so that you keep on going. And then at the very end, so it includes itself in the answer, but then I remove it at the end. Um, and I had to set it to a set because some of this is, I have to make a copy of it. That's what this does. Um, because of just how th these things work in general with caching because it caches the pointer to a set so if you modify it later you are going to run into issues and you can watch me solve it live during the contest next to kind of see this but I just remove I and and yeah um, the sorting is actually whatever uh, so it makes it a little bit n log n e but otherwise this is at most um, n plus e or v plus e where so linear because we traverse each edge at most once um, and yeah and that's pretty much it I, mean, I guess there's like a little bit of a lock-in factor somewhere but um, but yeah uh, in terms of and yeah for space uh, and of course in this case at worst it is going to be n square um, in terms of space because you can imagine that uh, if you just have a straight length list then that's going to take n square space and it's the smallest space you can do or v square if you want to go for that uh, even if there's only one edge or even if y is only um, uh, even if y is o of, o on order of v instead of v square it's still going to be o of uh, v square space just because that's the that's the size of the output right um, but yeah mm, let me know what you think I mean I think this is I mean I don't know I, I, I kind of uh, made a lot of mistakes but um like i said i was rushing a little bit on, and trying to make sure that i have time to kind of get through this problem um so I, I definitely rushed a little bit but i think the solution is pretty okay um and if you struggle with memorization um there are definitely a lot of different videos that i would go to today i don't really have time to go over it my apologies maybe the, the next daily problem or the previous daily problem uh, or something like that one of the memorization i usually go over memorization pretty okay so so yeah uh, but this is just to keep, keep track of all the ancestors for a current node, which is recursively, um, you know, all the ancestors, ancestors, and so forth. And then the caching makes sure that we only calculate this for each node once. Cool. Um, that's all I have for this one in terms of explanation. Let me know what you think. And you could watch me solve a live in contest next. The, the number way, so that's why. Okay. Let's go into Q3. You're given a positive integer n, you have a DAG, okay. You're given a 2D integer array edges, okay. Okay, so this is a DAG, okay. Still a DAG. The list of ancestors of i in sorted order. Okay, so what does that mean? So you have this edge list. 
What am, what am I returning? Oh, okay. Mm. Okay, so I mean, this is just that first search, I think. I, this is a little bit awkward, but there's only 200 edges. Um, okay, so then now, hmm, how do I want to write this down? Uh, okay, so we solve this, mm, okay, um, four, do, 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 do. Is that n? n is the number of edges, right? Oh, uh, nodes, okay, so then now. Now what do we want to do? Um, well, first of all, we want to we want to get on the top of the tree. Okay, so then that means that in degree is equal to zero times n for u v and edges. What is these edges? Oh no, these are just edges, edges. So okay, so we have to cross them in both ways. So let's just say e is equal to connection start default dict of list. And then you have e of u dot append v, and also in degree of u, uh, no, in degree of v is equal to plus one, okay. And then now we do a uh, for i in range of n, my neighbors are being loud, um, okay. And now if in degree of i is equal to zero, then we just go i and then maybe empty with an array with i. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Um, actually, what I want this is it should be set. I think that still returns the good thing, but uh, so current uh, ancestors, and then here we go. Mm, I mean, it's a tag. Um, okay, n is a thousand, so I was worried a little bit about some kind of n squared type thing being too slow, so this should be okay. Um, okay. So then for v in e of current, then ancestor dot append of v, we go, uh, we go v, um, v and da da da, and then we pop, um, but we have to also say in current, um, I guess technically we don't need, it should be empty and not this. So that means that v of current, um, hmm, uh, extend, I think, ancestor. So this, this is a set. So actually what I want is maybe, duh, 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 uh, and maybe this should be a set actually, to make it slightly easier. But then now we have to do add, and then also remove. I think it's remove, could be wrong. All right, let's give it a spin. Let's see, one time error recursive. Hmm. I know this is a DAG, so they should not. Huh. Hmm. Should be a DAG. So why am I getting an infinite loop? All right, let's see. This is Q3. This is only Q3. Uh, a little bit slow right now. This is also infinite loop. Okay, so 5, 3, 5, 5. Did I misunderstood this problem? 3 to 5, right? What am I doing wrong? 3, 5. So then why is 5 going back to 3? Huh? Zero to three, three to five. Five doesn't even have anything, so why is this going back to three? Hmm. Let's see, let's run it real quickly. Um okay, zero three is going to five, six, and seven. So then why am I going to Y dot. Oh, I messed up. This isn't should be y dot current. This should be rest. Dot, okay, that is just silly, silly Larry. All right. Um. Okay. So how that? Is it extend? I don't even know. Um. Ugh. I don't know if this is right though, because I wanted to. 
union orbit. Uh, okay, that, so it's not right. So, mm, okay, what if we're x and this? Okay, um, that looks, what am I looking at? What's the answer? Uh, okay, this does not look right. So that's not Gucci. Uh, let's see, that messed up. Oh, one, two, okay, so that's good. Do we have zero and one? Why is three having three? See, that messed that up. Okay, I did mess it up. So basically, what I want is n dot okay. I think that that's what I want to do. Uh, what a mess. Okay, so this looks good. Uh, I do worry a little bit about timeout, but let's give it a submit. Uh. Hmm. Do I have to think about a smarter way of doing it? Maybe. Uh, still in timeout. Uh, oh, wrong answer, huh? Oh, I have to sort it? You gotta be... Uh, okay, fine. Um, that's actually pretty sad. <laughs> but... <clears throat> uh, what's up I is equal to sorted... Uh, what's up I... I uh, that's just me rushing it, to be honest. Um, I don't know why it took so long though, because hmm. I was worried a little bit. If if it times out now, I'll be a little bit sad or well, a lot sad. We'll see. <sighs> I actually missed that. Hmm. I I think I watched it a little bit. I don't know, but now this is still taking a long time, so we'll see how that goes. Time to make see that okay. Um, I mean, I uh, this is such a weird thing, because like, hmm, how do you? Oh, hmm. Let's see. Uh, uh, I think I'm just being lazy. So this could be. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, uh, this is me being sloppy. Um, let's do it the other way of getting ancestors and then doing a, a recurse, recursive thing. I wasn't sure about this one. Um, I think I was just really bad. Um, so then here, what we want to do is, um, okay, so we don't care about that anymore, actually. Um, we just care about the reverse things. Um, I'm really bad. Uh, is equal to go of I. Um, yeah, and this this is fine, I think. Um, and then now we go. Um, yeah, okay. I think we're good here with respect to what I wanted to do. Um, and then now for we in e sub current for every edge. Um, okay, so R is equal to set R dot. Um, R dot uh, for X in go of V, um, R dot add X. Okay, well, that didn't quite work because what I have to do, oh, I think this is what I have to do. No. Hmm. My base case is a little bit weird. So for I, you look at every, okay, so current, right? That means that we want to have all these other things. Uh, okay, I mean, maybe this is fine, except for we have to take out uh, itself. Um, int not, okay, fine. Okay, so I think we're okay here, maybe? Um, I actually forgot what the oh no, it's just time to exceed it. Um, okay, so now we just have to go to do 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 do. Uh, it's the way that we did it. Um, okay. Nope. Huh. Oh, because it returns the same set, so I think there's some like weird um thing about it. Um, okay. So then now what we want to do is we make a copy of it and then. We move I, and then I think this should be at least good. Okay, uh, really sloppy, Larry. Larry, 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 Larry. Right, let's give it submit. Okay, that was a very really sloppy.
yeah thanks for watching hit the like button hit the subscribe button join me on discord let me know what you think about this prom i'll see you later stay good stay healthy to good mental health bye bye